Hello everyone! If you've been watching our coverage of Astonishing Spider-Man and Wolverine, you know our heroes have been flung through time repeatedly on an insane adventure with all sorts of crazy stuff going on in it. In the last video, we learned that Mojo was actually behind all of this. And in this video, we'll get into the big ending and the truths behind this story finally being revealed. Before we get into all of that, be sure to subscribe to Comic Island for more recaps and reviews. In Mojo's realm, a strange place called Mojo World. Mojo orders his employees around as they rush to get promotional material ready for the next episode. One of his workers asks about the girl, a woman named Sarah Bailey they've been forcing Spider-Man to dream about in the hopes they might be able to use her as a potential love interest as the show develops. Mojo comments that they've never seen Spider-Man in a long and lasting relationship before and this is exactly what the show needs. A documentary crew stops by and Mojo tells them about his latest project. He says that by sending his unwilling stars throughout time, the show has endless possibilities. The star arrives, musing that Mojo is taking credit for bending space and time itself, when really all that happened was that he stumbled upon the czar and his partner Big Murder, and they've been the ones orchestrating the entire show with Spider-Man and Wolverine. Mojo simply reminds his colleague that he paid the two incredibly well for their services, and that if he wants to embellish things here and there in an interview, he can do so. The Tsar admits this is all beside the point and that they have a problem, that Peter Parker managed to steal one of the Time Diamonds and escape from the Pilgrims. Since the Diamonds have a mind of their own, the two superheroes could be anywhere in time, or... Spider-Man and Wolverine appear before Mojo, and the two realize what has been going on this whole time in an instant. Sarah Bailey, the woman Spider-Man had been dreaming of all this time, suddenly appears behind him. Peter learns she was in the bank, and has been traveling through time just like them. When he goes to help her, the woman, Spider-Man, and Wolverine all suddenly freeze in place. The Tsar and Big Murder are amused at the efforts behind this attack, and start to look for the hero's time diamond when Logan's eyes once again begin to glow. Though nobody is sure how it happened, Logan and Peter start moving again thanks to the energy that burst from Wolverine. With a tap of the diamonds encrusted in his teeth, the Tsar summons a caveman and a robot to battle Logan, but Wolverine makes quick work of both of them. Suddenly a portal opens up and an elderly version of the Tsar appears with a warning. To kill Logan now, or the entire world will be at risk. While the two versions of the Tsar argue with each other, Spider-Man is flung in Logan's direction, while Logan calmly decides to cut off the younger Tsar's arm wielding the time stick, and the heroes flee. When Spider-Man and Logan disappear, yet another version of the Tsar appears with a warning, only to realize he is too late. In another time and place, Logan and Spider-Man arrive at the source of the diamonds a forest on a planet about to be destroyed. Logan's eyes glow again and he tells Peter all about this, that the destruction of this planet will spread the diamonds throughout the cosmos, and that the diamonds arrived on Earth in the form of an asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs millions of years ago. At Logan's direction, the heroes begin harvesting the diamonds and equipping them to their own bodies. Back in Mojo's realm, the Tsars argue, with the youngest getting fed up and murdering the oldest when Peter and Logan return. Peter hits one of the Tsars and the Time Diamonds instantly turn the man into a baby. But Logan dives at the other Tsar and fiery energy begins to surround Wolverine once more. In hindsight, Peter realizes he should have seen it coming. Their use of the Phoenix weapon, the two of them jumping around time, there was bound to be a consequence. And so, the Dark Phoenix Wolverine is born. Three years later, Peter Parker wakes up with his girlfriend Sarah Bailey, the bank teller from long before. After the event in Mojo World, he and Logan once again found themselves stranded in time, in this case the 19th century. This happened after Peter saved Logan from losing control of the Phoenix Force on Mojo World, and Spider-Man did this by doing what he does best, talking. He talked Logan down and saved them all even if they once again were left stuck in another time period. 
This and being fully exposed to Peter's origin story have given Logan a new perspective on the young hero. They might always get on each other's nerves, perhaps they will always be opposites in a sense. But there is now a shared kinship between these two heroes that runs deep here in the Old West. Wolverine even goes so far as to make them blood brothers. Though the two miss their home, they haven't been able to find another time diamond, and the only one they have left stopped glowing after the Dark Phoenix incident. Yet they have come to accept things aren't so bad here, and both have found a certain peace they are willing to accept. Peter still wonders what the point of all of this was, and remembers how after the Phoenix Force calmed down back in Mojo World, the mysterious group known as the Minutemen seized the Tsar and Mojo, just like they captured the Orb a while ago. The last thing they remember is being teleported back to the West, with only one defunct Time Diamond going with them. Peter shows Logan that he used the diamond to make an engagement ring for Sarah, planning to ask her soon, when suddenly it starts to glow again. They see Sarah grabbed by the Minutemen, who turn out to be a police force that protects the timeline, and had been hunting the superheroes for a while now. As Logan and Peter suddenly find themselves surrounded, the diamond ring glows, and everyone finds themselves back at the bank. Only Logan, Peter, and the orb seem to remember what happened, as Peter is heartbroken to discover Sarah Bailey has no memory of him. As the orb is arrested, Logan gives Peter one final sympathetic look, and the two are finally free to go their separate ways. In the distant past, Logan's brother Dog stumbles onto the mine filled with time diamonds and appears in the present. Farther back in time, Mojo is forced to dance as demanded by the small folk. In the present, one of the bank thieves, who got away with some of the diamonds, sells them to the Tsar in Big Murder, and the Tsar, at this point just a simple drug dealer, decides to attach the diamonds to his baseball bat. Elsewhere on Earth, Beast is overcome with the sudden idea of a phoenix weapon, while Doom suddenly gets the idea to study Ego, the living planet. Sarah Bailey walks by posters advertising the discovery of ancient relics depicting her own face, not noticing them or realizing their significance. Somewhere else in the city, Peter finds an old and familiar tree and stays there for a little while. And finally, Logan gets very, very drunk and stares at his hand. Even though it happened about 200 years ago, his glove is still torn from the Blood Brother ritual. <laughs>